Hello again. In this lesson we're looking at how to play the great song Save the Last Dance for Me. This was written by Doc Pomus and Murch Schumann and it was recorded first by the Drifters back in 1960. This lesson is a continuation of our series on great sing-along songs. I'm playing it in the key of C and we just have three chords. C major and F major and G major. Over the years this song has been played in many different styles. I'm playing it with a slower tempo and then using a finger picking pattern to accompany the song. Now it's in 4-4 time and that means there's four beats in the bar and I'm playing it as follows. One and two and three and four and. So my thumb is picking a bass note, the one beat, which is for the chord of C major, that's the fifth uh, string. One and two and. Now note the pattern my fingers are picking here, second string, third string, first string. This should be very familiar to you now if you've been uh, following my lessons. Second string, third string, first string, and that pattern repeats right through. So the first two beats, one and two and, and then my thumb is going to move down to the sixth string to play the third beat. This is called an alternate bass, three and four and, so the full bar. One, two and three and four and. If you fret the C with just three fingers, you can alternate the 5th string and 4th string if that suits better. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Or you can play the fifth, alternate 5th and 6th by just moving your 3rd finger from the 5th string to the 6th string. For the F chord, I'm picking the 4th string with my thumb for the one beat, because that note is F. And I'm alternating that with the fifth string. So my thumb will move from the fourth to the fifth for the three beat. And for the G chord, the one beat is going to be on the sixth string, because that note is G. And the alternate bass, the fourth string. 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so C 1 